So I just got in for my first heat, the Eddy. It was big. Um, I'm gonna take the primer just to get some instant like support for the energy I burnt. Then I'll take another uh, hydration. I took one when I first woke up this morning. And I'll probably nail an energy right before my heat, but this is like instant, straight to the system, clean, doesn't upset my stomach. And on days like this, you're like a little nervous. You got a lot of adrenaline, so your stomach actually does get upset pretty easily. But um, it's gonna be my go-to right now. Get me ready for the rest of the day. White water, white man. There it goes, guys. Hold on to your kids. Like I said, this whole thing, guys. Oh, what can happen yeah we're expecting the surf to get even bigger so we gotta have everybody back at a safe distance right especially if you got little kids you're crazy you're being an irresponsible parent if you have your kids down on the shoreline today we need those little kids back they need to be back in the park so it's, it's going nuts, the uh, sets are all closing out. Um, I brought a 9.6, 2.98, a 10.0, and a 10.4. So I think since I'm surfing later, the swell is supposed to rise, and I think it's gonna come, the angle's gonna come a little more out of the Kawhi shadow. So it could just be like non-stop closeouts, we'll see. But uh, big board, screw it, I need bombs. <laughs> so, we're just making, double checking that his flotation vest is all good, and. That lines aren't tangled, that a fired canister wasn't accidentally put in. Oh yeah, he, he dented it, but it didn't pop. Really? Didn't pull oh my off. gosh. Because he, he pulled, he said, on the last heat, and it never went off. But you see a little dent in the top of this thing. Got to pull hard back. Yeah, it's like a bullet. The hammer hit, but not hard enough and didn't yeah. shoot. Because I gave it just like a little aggressive short yank. Cause I was like getting steamrolled. I was like, maybe this will speed up my yeah. okay. surface. Yeah. Okay, this is the biggest wave of the day. I so said that was like one of the bigger sets I've seen at White Man, to be honest. That like, there was a second wave that broke like top to bottom out in the middle of the channel. So like, it's firing. I think it's, it's not even supposed to peak for like another hour and a half. So it's on like Donkey Kong. I wax up my 10-4 and I'm gonna go send one in the middle of the bay right now. <laughs> I love it. Champion, you rock. Please, rock. Rock. Raiders on the boy. Oh my gosh. Here we go, more ways rolling through. Yeah, buddy. Oh. 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 Round of applause for Luke Shepherdson. Luke, welcome back to the beach. Yeah. Yeah. He's got his family right there at the lifeguard tower. He's doing double duty today. Luke, one of three riders. He got a perfect pin. Flexed. Yeah. The big one I airdropped on. I bet it looked like it. And then 10 on the head. Three cans. You alright? I'm good. Where are the I'm good. and alternate Chris Owen rounding out round two V2. Make sure you check in early. No, can you just this is what happens when you wake a child up, One thing a toddler I up do is I at really what, five in the morning? All the people here Poor little bean. Down, like done. Anyone can win the event all the way up until the last heat is done. So you guys are... Oh, it's freaking bombing, dude. Okay. Adding to their careers, some of them catching up. And it's great to see the old and the new Chris, coming Chris, back. Oh, those, in Japan, yeah. yeah. Well, you know, 38 Chris years and... Chris, oh, it's... Yeah. Cool down. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, coming mm -hmm. and the guys out there in the lineup they can see them coming the crowd feels it on the beach they're starting to cheer oh this is a wow. big set rocky oh man oh my oh mark oh that was mark healy just <laughs> floating and fluttering my goodness on a 50 foot face oh my gosh that's a monster Mountains on his head right there. And we get the water patrol. Oh, they're on the move. Starting to gun it. Yeah. They recognize where they're at as well. And look on out to the horizon. Oh. This drone view shows you the mountains of water. Oh, drop wow. it into this one. I think that's Mark. Healy again. Oh, going for it. Swallowed. Oh my gosh, what a charge. Here's Mark Healy on a bomb. You saw the fluttering airdrop of that and then makes it all worth it. Huge drop. That is going to get some attention from our judges. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Healy. Mark Healy again. Oh. He's relentless in this heat. Can he survive that white water? Yes, he does. Oh, Mark my Healy. Gosh. He wants it. Mark Healy, so impressive uh, with his surfing, his steady stance, as well as just pure courage on that wave. And imagine the adrenaline right now that's flowing through Mark Healy's body as he's standing on the sand right now. Oh, he wants some more, look at wow. that. Wow, he was on the beach and he's, that's what he was contemplating, like, hmm, should I go back out there? Heavy. So, so gnarly. Mark Healy. Yeah, let's give it up to Mark Healy right now. We're going to give him a clap. For him. <laughs> wow, what a heat. So good out there. That's the best white man I've ever served. Like, I don't want to go in. It's like non stop on the button right now. Oh, I almost got into that close out in the middle of the bay. That's like. We're so far out past where the takeoff zone is. And why? And then I was like, the other guys are like 50 yards further out. And once I saw them go over, I was like, I need to try to paddle for this. And I got momentum and I got up and I was getting in and just. Oh my shoot, no more waves. How'd you feel when he went? It went good. I just wanted to get big waves. I mean, everything's big out there right now, but. Surf yeah, that's my goal. I think my wave selection was good. I, like, I got clean face once that. But every drop was an air drop, except for one. It was like full air, like. Oh, I hope I don't hit a trap when I reconnect. What did you think? 
or 46 to go. 46 to go. Are you going to come in? Like best of course. Oh, top best notch, you know, like waves of this size with that much like, time. You yeah, can get yourself in a I'm position kidding. where there's nobody <laughs> around you and a 30 it's foot a wave shit. just breathing down your back. Okay, you gotta go. Look, you, gotta go. So. Well, you are invited. How's the weather for the backside, boys? Yes. That was a for you. That was so fun. Dude, it was, it was just starting to come in like, I had, I finally dialed my lineup in and it was coming in every time and no one was sitting there. It was just like, oh, You don't read it. So fun. So fun. What do you think of Healy's heat? Killing it. I hope he won, bro. It would be amazing. He deserved it. Like, an animal. It would be epic. They don't say numbers yet? No. They don't say any numbers right there, yeah. But I know. Especially the whole, the whole story happening with him. <laughs> I mean, so he deserves it. He deserves it. It's going to be epic. He has at least the top three. It's going to happen. He's killing it. <laughs> oh, you're ready, bro. I'm going to go back out. I'm going to get one of those closeouts. <laughs> yeah, buddy. Great surfing with him. Yeah, same, brother. So fun. <laughs> <laughs> this is what we do on the special yeah. nights. Wow, the ocean. <laughs> this is date night of the <laughs> healing. <Yeah. laughs> it's called foreplay, guys. Get with it. <laughs> so much water up there. <laughs> Feels like my eyeballs are like one millimeter further out than they should be. <laughs> Thanks. It was a fun one. That was the most close-out I've ever seen at the bay in London. Yeah. 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 <laughs> it's probably accidental. So you made the second one. Well, actually, you know, one like lot, and it wasn't like a. Uh, uh, it was like a coming up. And we'll end the day <laughs> like nose first. Still a lot perfect. could happen. Kaylee Mabala, beautiful so vertical so drop. How are you going back up? Bottom of the into the belly of the beast. Oh, this guy's ready. That's what I'm saying. This guy absolutely disappeared. Oh, nice undercut. Is that Tyler Duran? Turn him up. Down here. Yeah, he was crazy. Like so much like closeout sets and wash throughs. Like. It was hard for me he to stay in the spot, but then I look at I look at Mark and he was just sitting like 10 feet wow. inside of me. I was like, okay, I should probably stay here. I'll probably be all right. And you know, it's just insane to see that type of water moving and you know, be out there with those guys. Those guys are the best big waves in the world, and only do this part time. So I was just up and riding on them. The waves are so good and clean out here. It's the best white man I've ever seen. So it's my second heat. Um, I was going out for. And you know, like a bunch of guys got good waves since my first round, the first heat of the morning, and you know, I dropped down in the scoreboard. But honestly, I wasn't even thinking about that. The waves are so good. I just wanted to to take advantage of this. It's such a finite opportunity. Like you, you're able to make waves out here that you'd never be able to make any other day because it's so clean on a lot of the faces. Um, so you can like air drop and reconnect on like a flat surface, hopefully flat. But whereas a lot of times it's just like chops, so you reconnect on a chop and just get chucked. But um, I went out and it was kind of a slow start for me. I just wanted to catch sets, and Zeke was just picking really good waves, and I uh, I saw Cole get some good waves, and then uh, yeah, I was just trying to be patient. It was 20 minutes in before I caught a wave, and then I started like I started paying attention to all the boils. Started paying attention to my lineups and I finally like narrowed in where the sets are coming and then it was just like one after another. And every I, I rode that bigger 10-4 and I was paddling like my ass off to get momentum into them and still it was like airdrops. Pretty much every wave was like got a little air and reconnected. And uh, but it was, and was able to get back on my rail and like come around the sections. And I don't know what it was like in the middle of the heat. In the middle of the heat, like 
a giant one broke like way the hell outside, way wider, like in between. Nobody knew where to be. Like a couple of the guys are like 50 yards further out. I might have been the furthest one in as paddling. And when I saw and had reference to them paddling over, I was like, I think I should turn around and just try to paddle for this. And like got momentum and got to my like tried to get up and the wind just freaking flung me straight out the back and then by the time I got my board and spray cleared there was a second one I had to bail under that one I was like please no leash break and then I ended up getting another wave which is airdrop and like a big one coming into the middle of the bay I was like I'll connect it you know you go right and then ca catch the reform left into the shore break I'll go get a barrel close out get to the beach but it ended up, I was like, oh, it's not gonna reform. It's like a barreling right coming at me and right then like a chop just like, boom! <laughs> Set me on my butt and I got pounded and then sucked over the falls in the shore break. And that's actually when I like inflated my vest. Cause I was getting so licked and I was like, I am not coming up. I'm like staying on the bottom right now. I got lickings, came to the beach, and I was like, I got 12 minutes. I'm gonna try to get back out. So I ran my butt down there, got a ride by water patrol back out. I had to wait a while because it was so consistent. I couldn't get on the ski. And then shot back out, paddling in the lineup, and got my last wave. So how are you feeling about the event overall? It's insane. There's nothing else like this in the world. Not a chance. Like the energy, the amount of people, how good the vibe is with everybody. It's competitive, but everybody's just so happy to be here and to honor the legacy of Eddie Aikau and, and just like this amazing uh, ocean culture that we have in Hawaii that's kind of been, you know, the, um, the incubator for this being all around the world. It, and it, having these international people come and be a part of it, it's just, there's nothing like it. Not even close. Is this going to be a pretty memorable day of your life? I will never forget today. Oh my God! How are you? How oh, is I see you. Send it. Beast mode, right here. Okay. <laughs> yes, uh, you're so worthy. So worthy. Yeah, that's so fun. I'm gonna go tell the life friends to get all the kids up. Oh, There's bro. like ten or something, but one of those guys might take one back. Yeah, yeah. But I figure they're on it. Yeah. Hey, good job. Thank you. I appreciate it. So fun. <laughs> So this will be a memorable day of your life? Yeah, I'll never forget today. It's like, I've never seen Waimea like that. It's just been, it's beautiful out there. And what people can't see from here, is we're looking at the waves that are coming at like Shark's Cove and um, Three Tables, way up around the point, and it's like 30 feet top to bottom barrels. You're just looking at just like rifling down death barrels on rocks. So just the whole feeling of being out there is, it's like overwhelmed. I was, it was getting overwhelming being on the beach, but like as soon as you get out there, it's just like it's on. It's a full different world out there until you start hearing the cheers from the shore. But that's about it. How is the crowd? How is it when you you, hear can, the crowd? you can fully hear like the crowd cheering? It's people like usually they're cheering on like the biggest sets you can tell, or when somebody's riding one near the shore break, and you can totally hear it out in the lineup right now. And then you hear the lifeguards. They start warning all the uh, people on the beach when there's a giant set out the back. So you're like, everyone's sitting out there, you're like, ooh, it looks like some black ones out there. And you hear them start talking, like, oh yeah, it's gonna be a big closeout set. And yeah, it's just the buildup, it's awesome. Epic, anything else you wanna throw in? Just happy to be here. Thanks to the Aikawa family for, for keeping this going. It's such an awesome tradition and such a, a, there's so much more to this than just the contest. Um, very fortunate to be a part of it. Four waves, Arms please up. head in. Hawaiian Water Patrol can help you with that. <laughs> I, I thought it was an epic day. It just, I think, best ever any contest. I, I think almost everyone got a wave, multiple waves. I don't know, it's just... 
Yeah. It'll be hard to top this one, I think. When is it ever this clean in Oh, I was looking. I like your shirt, Mark Cunningham. Where the are we? He's part of the Ohio. Yes, he is. Talking to Alvin Clyde yesterday. Now there's Mark not. It's going reverse into the pee now. Now it's mean. The morning was like crap. Yeah. Holy smokes, guys. Oh, yeah. Oh, Uncle Eddie I Cal showed up in full form today, my friends. Okay, third place. Third place. Still charging like a bat out of this world. Third place. Making $5,000. Mark Healy. We have a third place, 50,000 Hawaiian miles from Hawaiian Airlines, 150,000 miles. Thank you, Hawaiian Airlines. And that was third place, Mark Healy. for fun, okay? <laughs> Let's just say, I'm not saying it yet now. Let's just say, John John won the contest. Let's just say, who would agree on that? We have Luke Shepard. yourself second place and the winner of 2016 John John Florence Stoked. I've been I haven't been on the podium once and all the times that I've done the Eddie is just amazing day. Awesome. Awesome day. Definitely remember it forever. Um, best white man I've ever seen. Just beautiful. Got to see this place in like all its glory. Um, and just with such good people, friends and family and friends that are basically family. And great. See the check? I don't think that was it. I wish. Third place. Third. Can't complain. You podium, bro. I gotta see him. This might be the highest place in Goofy Footer in Eddie. I don't know. I don't think anybody's gotten second. I'm either tied or the highest. My neck feels funny, but we are right here. My neck feels funny. That's what you say after every big song. I know, right? That's not supposed to be. No, it's gonna be like locked up right here. Like you got hit by a car. This guy. Yeah. Damn, right here. Not in here. Well done, buddy. Yeah, fucking set the situation for me. Try to be like you. Doing a great job, buddy. Sometimes that cold clock, 'cause I don't want your love to stop. Every fifty, well, who got two? But I still be in love with you. 
even though the days go by, I will always sit and always wonder why I love it my shine. Maybe I just had to try, or maybe because I know why, or maybe because I'm feeling.